This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 385 for Wednesday, March 10th, 2021. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Good morning. So <laughs> I have this app on my phone, right? You have a bunch of them. <clears throat> yeah, we all do. You know, I, it's a very useful app. It tells me, it protects against spam, and it tells me who the caller is. I can look up the, the phone call and everything. Okay. <clears throat> it was weird. I got a call yesterday from the police department <laughs> asking for an interview. Okay. Right? So I'm looking at my app and I'm like, and I'm thinking that's really weird because I never applied for a job there. <laughs> nice. nice. Uh, let's start with the uh, Kawiko. Great. All right. So the new Lavender, is this the Skyline Sport or the... It, it technically, I guess it is a Skyline Sport okay. because it has the silver trim and the silver jewel on okay. the top with uh, just the plain steel. And yeah, I really like the color. It's nice and springy and bright. I like that the box Comes matches. Comes in a matching box. Yeah, which yeah. as like a the... retailer makes it really easy to grab the right thing. It is, yeah. It's so <laughs> nice because you're like, oh, geez, I wonder if we have any violets left and lavenders or whatever. And then I just pick it up and there it is, so. As opposed to just all the black boxes. Pretty color, everything else is pretty much the same. It's still a uh, plastic cap and it's barrel. It's very springy color. It's just a, a really, Pretty bright, happy color. Yeah, most of the, most of the sports are seem to be dark colors. You know, it's black, green, guilloche, burgundy, chess, burgundy, yeah. you know, navy blue. blue. Right. Uh, so it's nice to have a couple of, of uh, lively colors. Yes. Uh, yes. In the mix. Absolutely. So. so I'm excited about that. We haven't talked about these in a while. The Twisby Go. 1899. What a super cool pen. Um, it's it's not going to be mistaken for a Visconti or a Sailor. Um, nope. But man, this thing is bomb proof. Uh, nice plastic barrel section. Push it. Yeah, and then it has <laughs> what, what you basically you call a syringe filler almost with a spring and you push on it and it will fill into the barrel pretty, pretty full. So it fills on the downstroke. It, no, it, it fills on the upstroke, upstroke. Yeah. 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 So you can do That's it like two or three times and then the whole thing fills up. Um, Holds a ton of ink. It, it doesn't uh, have a clip, but it's got an integrated roll stop. Yes. And you could put a lanyard there if you wanted to. Oh, how on cool is that? Yeah. And, and I like that it's transparent so you can see that. It looks just funky. Okay. And uh, You know, Twisby is known for uh, pretty solid, reliable pens mm -hmm. at a really great value price point. They don't pretend to be a $1,000 pen. No. Um, you know, some companies out there market their pens as, you know, God's gift to pens, but, um, well, they do, you know, made with DNA God's or whatever. <laughs> I've had some coffee. That's Leave good. me alone. Um, That's good. I can but, think of several brands that would yeah, fit that category. But, you know, Twisby owns what it is. It's a great writing, value-priced pen. It's a great starter. It's a great upgrade. I mean, you you know, you've got your Twisby Go with just your your spring filler here. Mm -hmm. You've got for uh, $50, you've got your um, 580. 580s, um, yep. Your minis. With a piston yep, filler. Yep. Yeah, so and, they have great design. Yes. And, and uh, some great colors. Uh, I really like that they come out with new colors periodically, and they're uh, kind of a one and done. They just make X many, and you grab it or you don't, um, just to keep the line fresh. They they really are, I think, more innovative than a lot of other companies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this this is a cool pen, and it comes with three colors. Yep. Uh, full transparent. The blue. Uh, and then smoke, and then they have on the the two colored versions. They have a little bit of a colored bit cool. at the end, and so your red Twisby logo is. Uh, complemented yep. by the color of the barrel, so. But holds a lot of ink. Um, also, not a big financial commitment. Yes, yeah, same same nib that's on the uh, on the Twisby Mini, and uh, like I say, it's not a Visconti. Ooh. But so like, like that segment that was a pretty. Not good, really. No, no, it wasn't a good segment. No. Uh, <laughs> I got a, This is a Visconti. All right, so Twisby Go, a great value price. Uh, they stand behind their product. I feel like an infomercial. Um, I can't wait to see where this goes. Another company that has done amazing, <laughs> amazing things with their brand. Um, 
you know, several years as ago, a, there were issues. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And they were. have owned it. They have improved it. They have come out with some just phenomenal things um, at a very different price point. And they don't pretend to try to be a value price brand. They are not, yeah. Uh, they own the fact that maybe not everyone can afford it. Maybe not everyone wants it. Um, but it is a a wonderful brand is the new Visconti Demo Stones. These are yes. transparent, um, colored, and it's a nice feel. It's nice. I, I, are, I like this. This color is great. Um, so is that why I got the ruby? Well, th that one reminds me almost of like the remember the red wine that we had a few years ago. It's also my um, birthstone. But uh, these are interesting because they have the, the yes. essentially the my pen, the matching colored stone on the top. That's cool. I don't um, recall that they've done that before. I don't think so. Um, which is really a nice extra touch. You can do the my pen system down at the bottom. Yeah. So they moved it to the yes. bottom, bottom of the barrel, like which on, is the, cool. on the Mirage, mm -hmm. uh, where you put the the my pen, your initials on the bottom. So uh, you could technically, I guess, put another jewel down here. Uh, I don't know how well That'd that would be really blingy. I don't know how well that would cap, but yeah, I guess you could do that. Um, but Homo sapiens, uh, two stage double reservoir power filler uh, in these transparent materials. Uh, we just we just started getting them in. There's there there are three colors, um, essentially red, green, and blue, and um, and it also <laughs> uses the uh, new in house 14k yes. nib. Yep. Um, really. Visconti has just taken it to a whole new level in the last few years, really, really making some major upgrades, some major improvements, um, and they just keep coming out with new and more and more new things that are just more and more gorgeous. Let's talk about paper. You know, we're going in order. Are Poor you... Justin's all confused now. That's the only way I'm going to get this done. <laughs> all right. The police are after me. After all. <laughs> I may tell them where to find you. Uh, we've got some Marumon here too. Yes. All right. So you go first. I love these. You love we, these. We've talked about these before. I love these. The it's little so Marumon. It's funny when you get like all pocket. goofy about paper. Well, you know this 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 brings me back to like you know, when you're a kid and you're watching the film noir and the you know you've got the the reporter the detective. detector detective and he's he's flipping out his notebook and he's writing things down and and that's what this is. It's a nice little pocket. Uh, Case, it's got uh, you know, it's got the Nemesine logo on there, and you can put your business, business cards, cards or, or whatever extra notes. Yeah. Okay. Um, and there's a little flip out on here, which I love, which is really really cute. You're so flipping if, out. If you wanted it, if you had a real yeah. thin pencil, okay, you could you can flip this part out, and then your pencil or your pen. Uh, actually, you could just put the clip in there. Is probably what that's probably the best use of that. So if I was going to take this. Uh, this Visconti here, which is a little bit ridiculous because it's <laughs> twice the size of the notebook. But if you have a smaller pen, that thing if, you, if you, you know, let's say Twisby Twi Mini would be would be perfect size. But you could put the clip in there, and then mm -hmm. you've got that. And when you don't, you can just lift this up, and Flip it, it, and it tucked, There's actually a little slot oh, cut cool. out there okay. for that. Um, and then, of course, the the 179 we now have these in, which is great. The refills it's, that specifically fit. The notepad. Yeah, it is literally the only one that does. We we checked out. We must have checked out about six or seven different. Everything uh, was too wide. A six ish yep. size uh, notebooks, and and yeah, they were all a little bit. Not quite right. Disproportionate, and so we have these now, and these are great. I love them. Little Goldilocks. Little Goldilocks, just right. Too big, too small, <laughs> whatever. So. Um, Marumon also makes uh, about a dozen or more other notebooks in different sizes and configurations that we also carry. You've got uh, a couple different sizes, uh, ring bound at the spiral bound at the top, on the side, there's some staple bound. Um, but the best thing about these is it's just really good paper. Uh, I think some people are a little nervous about Tomoe River paper. Okay, because it's, it's too... It's too thin, yeah. it's too... They think it's too fragile, they're just afraid it's of It's a little of bit of higher whatever. price, so we've got to have uh, a good reason to use it kind of thing. And so this is um, phenomenal paper. It's got um, cool ruling, too. This it has does. Got, this has got a date, it's got a couple columns here. So if I write a list, I can check off, in yes. progress, done, date on the top. Um, and I like these, too, because the covers are... The covers are plastic. plastic. They're definitely heavier, yeah. so these are not going to get beat up 
in your bag or your purse or yeah. wherever you keep it. It's real um, nice. Some, some pads with cardboard covers, it's nice that they're a little more eco-friendly, but they do sometimes get beat up or bent mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah, this is so a good these idea. are not... And they're, uh, and they're perforated too, which is awesome. Yes. I love perforated. And it's a nice little micro perforation too. You know, the ones that just, they kind of like zip out. You know, when you... Yeah. They're just so nice. So these are they great. They make that little sound. It's so pleasing. <laughs> Marty Mon. <laughs> my, my dirty little pleasure, apparently. It's tearing, <laughs> tearing your paper. So anyway, uh, just wanted to bring that up, Marty Mon. Um, we carry a lot of it, and it's, it's really good stuff. Everything from great, side, great. top, bound. Um, check it out. Uh, Sailor Maintenance Kit. Yes. These things are hot. I, I, they're very popular. They're actually... I, I Why have, don't you confess? I have to admit, these are more popular than I thought they would be. <laughs> they are more popular than I thought they would. My God. Um, no, and they work phenomenal. In fact, yesterday I was using one to clean out a, a, a pen that I got. Um, a sailor pen. You got pen. a pen? I did. I don't have it here. <laughs> I don't have it to show. Um, but it was a sailor. And this thing has a cool little adapter that you fit on the syringe. I'm just going to keep going. That you fit on the syringe to help flush it out. And it really does a bang up job real quick. Um, we were, we were, I will confess, we were a little hesitant. Um, just like when we were slow to use a bulb syringe, which is just the best thing on the planet. You were slow to use a bulb syringe? I was. Years ago? Yeah. Um, to clean out a pen. Mm -hmm. But I also used them on my children back in the day, so I just had a hard time okay. making that shift. Um, this these is great, are really, though. really, really well thought out. Everything is in a small compact box, so yeah, you don't plastic. have, you know, I'm the queen of, of baggies. Um, everything can go in a baggie, and that way it stays clean, it stays separate, it doesn't jumble around. But to have this all in one little plastic case is great. Yeah, um, so you can rinse it out if you get any ink in yep, there or whatever. Yep, but, but it keeps through. everything together. And this way, toss it in your drawer, toss it in your backpack, toss it in your... Yeah, it really is. It really is travel size, really. I mean, mm -hmm. you can throw it in there, and you actually even could... You could probably fit a couple more things in there. Um, but it comes with an empty cartridge, comes with a syringe uh, in a protective little case, and then it comes with a cleaning... Um, uh, the syringe with the cleaning tube on it. So, uh, really a cool thing. If you, if, if you have a sailor, you ought to try one of these. Uh, they're really pretty fantastic. Okay. Uh, I like them a lot. So... Um, and uh, along at the same time, Sailor has, if you all have uh, a Sailor Mini or uh, some of the, some, some of the old uh, vintage Sailor uh, pocket pens uh, will take this mini converter. Um, so this is smaller this is than smaller, the regular? Yep, yep, it's shorter. Uh, it's shorter by about whatever that is, uh, but half an inch. Okay. Um, and it fits in there and you, instead of using just cartridges, You've got you've got to now have a, a mini converter option. Now, can you use this in a full size? <laughs> Only if you're crazy. Yes, you okay. can. Okay, so it's not thinner. No, nope. it's just shorter. No, nope, it's just shorter. Okay, it's just shorter. So the mini converter that was that was in the lineup, uh, and this is cool. You know, we get requests all the time for empty uh, empty cartridges. People want. To the convenience of a cartridge, but they don't always want to clean out their own cartridge. Um, I believe Sailor is the only one who actually yes. makes them available for purchase. For separately. purchase. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's cool. I mean, you know, if you don't have cartridges and you want to use cartridges, or quite simply, the ones you have are just too old and and they're kind of nasty looking. Um, and you like to fill with cartridges because you do get the most capacity. Yep. You can get some nice clean empty cartridges, and you can put and them in this cool this thing. This is great. This they, I really like. Yeah, they really, really, again, thought this out very well. Um, it's a little plastic box that will hold cartridges. I love this. I mean, we used to, when, when we were going to shows, I always <laughs> had a bag. I had to have... A baggie. I, I had a, it was a baggie, uh, and I would say, okay, well, I need to have Sailor, Platinum, and Pilot cartridges because I use Vanishing Points. I always have a Sailor, and I've always got a Platinum. Mm -hmm. So, and I would throw them in a bag. And here, now this is made just for Sailor, but how nice would that have been to say, okay, well, this is my Sailor right. case, and these are my Sailor cartridges, and then they're easy to find, and little, nice little tiny... Protected in a box. Yeah, yeah. It's, re it's really a cute, uh, super cute idea, and they're super inexpensive, too. 
Do you have any in your bag now? I, I do. They're in a Ziploc. <laughs> 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 or they're in they're in the original little two sailor two pack okay, case. Okay. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I, I actually I do need one of those. Okay. Uh, so, it, I, I, I confess again, the accessories actually did a lot better than I expected they would. And uh, if you don't have if you don't have one of these kits, you, you ought to try them out. They're 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 pretty they're pretty super. Um, when you use fountain pens, you will at some point in your life get ink on your clothes. Yeah, you sure will. Um, and so we have carried Amadex for years. This stuff is great. Um, one of my favorite memories of Amadex, I have two. Uh, one <laughs> I is, know one of them. <laughs> one is talking to um, the owner of the company. Uh, she's got four kids and, and just talking about um, years and years and years ago, what this will work on. This will work on Sharpie. Uh, we actually sent the company several ink samples, uh, including Base State Blue, okay. and uh, a couple other um, pigmented inks and all sorts of stuff so that she could experiment. And uh, they come in two different sizes. <clears throat> the smaller size is more like a mascara wand. It's like a little half ounce size. And the larger size, the one ounce, is in a little bottle with uh, a little dispensing cap. Just get the big one. Well, this is great <laughs> to keep at your desk drawer at work. In your briefcase or next in your to your Ziploc bag full of This cartridges. is great for travel. If you get, let's say, lipstick on your clothes or you splatter oh, wine yeah. or whatever, get away from me. Because um, <laughs> that happens. <laughs> it happens to other people. Okay. Um, one, the, the most important thing to remember about Amadex is this does not work like Windex. This is not yeah, wipe on, it's... wipe off. This is... Put it on your stain in the morning, let it sit all day, yeah. rinse it when you come home, see if you need to put more on. If you do, put a little more on, let it sit overnight. You have to follow the direction. Yes. You know, I'll, I'll never forget, it's, it's like when you scare a hand cleaner and a customer call up and says, you know, I don't think this stuff's working for me. I said, well, did you follow the directions? Did you put it on? Did you wait? Did you follow the direction? No, I didn't. He says, but it's not working for me. <laughs> you gotta follow the directions. Yes. So, so with um, Amadex, you definitely have to let it sit um, the nice thing is it does not bleach your clothes. There is no bleach. No. Um, so it's great. My other favorite story is we had a customer come in, scary pissed off. He was a sweet little man. Not happy. He was. He's a pastor. Pissed off. He was crazy mad. He had just bought these brand new shirts, and I never forget, I was just Did he shocked. have it with him? Yeah, he had he brought two the shirt. from the dry cleaner, two or three on the dry cleaner, directly from the dry cleaner, and he was so pissed off because he had these like $85 shirts, and I, I remember thinking, who spends $85 on a shirt? Um, and he had uh, a Retro 51, and he had forgotten to retract the refill, mm. and he had um, some Nice little Refill. stain in the yep. bottom of the stain pocket. Stain at the bottom yep. of the pocket. Yep. And he took it to the dry cleaner and it didn't come out. And he was mad that we had sold him this defective pen. And eventually he admitted he left the refill out. Um, and he was pissed that he had ruined three shirts. And so <laughs> we gave him some Amadex and he tried it and he came back and he was the same. Happiest man. Happiest man on the planet. And every time he was in the store and anybody was nearby, he w he was like a spokesmodel for Amadex, Amadex after yeah. that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> he had rollerball or ballpoint that had been, um, it had sat there, it had dried, it had been dry cleaned, and it did come out. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it we does. We were talking about him yesterday, as a matter of fact. How is he? Yeah, I don't have you heard anything? No, I have not, so. Um, nice, nice man. I've never seen I've never seen a pastor so angry. <laughs> you think we, we did something? He was a little scared. It was yeah. I was like, but oh. um, that was I would like to think one of the more worst case scenarios. Yeah, yeah, it came um, out. Yeah, so you just follow the directions. Yep. It will come out if you follow the directions. Vintage. Vintage. <laughs> so this week we're gonna do something different. Oh. Um, you know, we've been doing Japanese for the last last You're month or so. Not gonna keep any. I, I'm not gonna keep any of these. <laughs> I, I, there, there, there's there's some there's some talk about number ten here, um, but this week we're gonna do uh, American. Uh, we've got some Esther Brooks. Nice. 
And look at that nice J in green. Okay. Uh, I've got a couple J's here, uh, green, blue, and uh, and maybe everybody's favorite is the copper. Yep. Uh, full size J's, double jewels, and uh, we've got a couple of those. And what about those? What's the other thing about those? Uh, I, we do have some pens in here from the Fred Crinky collection. Cool. So some of these, uh, and they will be noted as such. So if you couldn't make the auction, we've got a couple of those pens here. Um, but so we've got a couple Esther books. Okay. Um, we also have uh, a, a very interesting selection of Parker Forty Five in a in, in, in a, oh, a simulated. That's so cool. this one here is actually a very late. Um, it's after EverSharp took over the company. Uh, so it looks like a Forty Five. It even has a chalk mark on it. But the nib unit is fixed instead of um, threaded. So we kind of call it an EverSharp Forty Five just to. That's cool. It's still yeah. got so it's got the it's got the two dollar ninety eight cent sticker on it, um, but we've got a nice gray one, uh, and then a couple of my favorites. I've always liked these gold filled. Yeah, those are cool. Uh, very very pretty with fourteen karat nibs, and they're just they're just really nice. Okay. Um, I like these a lot. Parker one eighty, one of my one of my all time favorites. That is cool. I love this pen. If you're not familiar with the one eighty, the cool thing about the one eighty is the name is exactly what you think it says means. Uh, it has what's called, an, in this particular case, an XM nib. So if you write on one side, it's extra fine, and you flip it over 180 degrees and you write, it's a medium. You know, this is a pen that's designed to do that. It never ceases to amaze me how many people <clears throat> think that- Every pen should do Every that. fountain pen is designed that way and they're not. And yeah. so we've had people come into both stores and either complain or, or ask, Okay, well, how does it write upside down? Well, good luck. It doesn't. It's not supposed to. <laughs> if is, it does, good for you, yeah. but it's not supposed to. Yeah. This one is. This one's designed to do it. Um, so it's literally it's, it's marked XM for extra fine and medium. Um, and, and if you're into if you're into uh, examining nib grinds and stuff, it's a very interesting grind. Um, the way it's done so that it, it writes both sides. That is cool. Um, it's neat. It's got a little metal overfeed on one side, and then your 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 black feet on the other. So. It, it, it's a really neat pen. Um, we, we may we may decide that this may not make the, the list here. We may decide. Uh, we may. Uh, this is a, this is a <laughs> waterman. Royal Wee. This is a royal we. Um, There's a nice waterman. Okay. Uh, I forget the model on this one, but I mean, l l look at that nib. Uh, it says L on it for. Lisa's gonna let me have this one. Um, I don't. It's large. <laughs> it's it's super broad, uh, and a beautiful beautiful pen. Um, Please buy this, and so I don't have to. You never have to. Well, I know, but it's a, it's a beautiful pen, and it writes like a dream. If you like double broad, so you're gonna keep it and and withhold that pleasure from some customer. I absolutely am considering it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this week we've got some more affordable things, and um, I came across we had, we had a gentleman in the store who's interested in shaper no nonsense. I said, you know what? We came across some interesting ones. Um, I've got this uh, this kind of mustard yellow. I've got a stainless steel That's one. That's cool. Um, check this nib out. I gotta look here. I don't think you need glasses to see that. Broad, oh my god! The broad italic nib That's on there. That's huge. It's great. Hey, if it snows again, we could shovel with it. We could. Uh, so this week is gonna be completely different. Uh, there might be a couple surprises in there. Um, I have some other pens that I'm working on. Some Japanese pens that I will maybe throw in if I get them done. So. Okay. Uh, but it'll be Esther Brooks. Parker 45s, um, Schaefer No Nonsense, and then a couple of uh, other specialty specialty pens. I'm not gonna rehash, please be patient with shipping. Um, <laughs> but please be patient with shipping. We ship packages out literally six, sometimes seven days a week. Yeah. We get them out of our store as quickly as we can. Yeah. And then once it gets to the postal system, we are all at the mercy of the post office. So as long as there's tracking, it's on the way to you. I have no idea why some of these packages are going, you know, from Wisconsin where we are to you in Pennsylvania and it goes to California first. I have no idea why. Please just be patient. Yep. Uh, there are some upcoming price changes okay. that we will be talking about. Should we talk about that? Let's talk about price changes. Let's talk I about think we should. Price changes. All right. Platinum. Platinum. Uh, Platinum had a small price change that went into effect uh, March 1st. Okay. And it was uh, some ink, uh, the converters went up a dollar, um, 
couple other things, the Curados went up, okay. the Procyon. Yep. And now in April, we were just notified that effective April 1st, um, there is a much bigger price increase. Well, it's a much larger much group of- Much wider, uh, yes. Not bigger, per se. Um, so the 3776s, um, the converters are going up again. Um, and now the 3776s aren't going up that They're much. not they're going up significantly. They like are going up 5 to $10. Five, $10, bucks. yeah. Um, but they are going up. So if you are considering that, grab it now before the price increase. Um, and Yeah, we're, uh, we're pretty well stocked on pretty much yes. all, the, all the colors yes. and, and nibs and stuff. So, um, Retro 51 um, okay. is also having a small price increase that goes into effect in early April. Okay. Um, and they're in retro is actually coming out with they're they're really the new owners are not building back up stock of some of the designs that we previously had thought were discontinued. Which they is they are nice. not or they are now. We thought they were gonna be discontinued. And they are they're now coming continuing. back. Continuing. Yes. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So like we had um, um, like the corona. Um, the Smithsonian Corona. Smithsonian it's Corona, very cool. not the coronavirus. Um, but I could say when I got home, I got a Corona, but, um, the Corona Smithsonian Corona was out and I missed one. Cause I remember right away when George said he's retiring, I said, okay, Dave, order me a Corona, order me, uh, there's a couple other metal Smiths and the Corona was discontinued, but now it's back. Right. And, uh, I did grab one. So, so the, the new owners are definitely reevaluating, um, everything. And uh, so the classic lacquers, most of the colors mm -hmm. are staying. I did not see the brown on the okay. list. I think the brown is going away. The brown's Do we going have away. Left? I don't know. I like that. We one. were going to order one for you. The rose gold. Um, some of them are going up in price just a little bit. Some will not be coming back. Uh, they will be coming out with some new designs, but they're really trying to be very strategic about it, which is a smart thing okay. for new owners. Um, and so I saw on the price list, the pencils, some of the pencils will be coming back in another month or two. Okay. Um, yeah, we haven't had pencils in a while. So they're, they're building up slowly. Okay. Um, so don't give up hope. And uh, I know that they will be coming out with uh, some of their own designs. There are still some dealer exclusives out there yet to be released. Well, thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. <laughs> Follow the blog for news, um, ink reviews. Uh, check us out on social media as Anderson Pens and uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Okay, great, I'll do that.